What if you could build your own custom AI blog writer like this one that writes like you, injects your own experience, backlinks to the right sections of your website, all for free? That's exactly what I'm gonna show you how to do in this video with Google AI Studio. But I'm also gonna show you the things you need to keep in mind when creating an app like this that follows best practices when it comes to SEO. Let's get stuck to it. So for this, we're gonna use Google AI Studio. If you've never used this and it looks a little bit complex, trust me, it is very, very easy to use. And you really should play around with it because it's incredible. You can create any application that you practically want using all of Google's AI technology meaning Nano Banana, Gemini Pro, Gemini Flash, and a bunch of those things. So once you create an account with Google AI Studio, which again is free, you want to go to build. You can try out the builds or the other apps that other people have built, but we're gonna get straight into building our own. You wanna start here. And in our community, I've got a humongous prompt that you can use here. You don't have to use this prompt, but I've kind of already pre-made this one here. I'm gonna paste it there. Essentially, when you are prompting this to build your own custom content copywriter, you wanna make sure that you keep a few things in mind. That is one, to make sure that it injects your experience or there is a place there to inject your experiences like there is here in the uh, internal knowledge and the experiences section. You want a section where you can give it some website sitemaps or at least some URLs that it can link to and a bit of an audience setting. So who's the audience, who you're writing for, maybe some secondary keywords and a little call to action at the end. So when you're prompting that, just make sure you keep that in mind and make sure that it writes in your tone of voice, but also at an eighth grade reading level. This is really important. It makes your content a lot more approachable to more people. And it's gonna give you the highest possibility to make content that's actually going to rank and give you traffic to your website. So using that prompt, I'm just gonna hit run. And we're gonna essentially make the same version that I just showed you before, but I'm going to improve it to show you the additions that you could add and how you can customize this to fit your needs. Whilst it's doing this, I imagine this to be really good within a team. For example, you build a custom content copywriter that follows a specific tone of voice and guidelines and you give it to your team and go, hey, use this when you're writing content as well. Now. This isn't a tool to completely replace you as the content copywriter. Otherwise, you're just generating AI regurgitated fluff, which is not what we want to do. But what we're trying to build is something that is helping us write more content at the same high quality that you're used to writing and a little bit easier as well. So we give it a minute and we'll come back when our first iteration is done. And I can guarantee you that the first version is never gonna work out, but that's okay. We, through a back and forth conversation without having to touch a line of code, we're going to make sure that it fits your requirements. Okay, so it ran for about, yeah, two minutes almost, and I've already got the first version of our application. Uh, already it's given me some pre-made inputs here with the vo tone of voice, the internal knowledge, the experiences, some advanced context, and perfect. Let's just see if it's going to generate that content that it already placed in there. I'm gonna generate content. And here, we've already got a little bit of a error here. Let's just tell it that um, to try and fix the error. There's also an option whenever it sees that the application is going to have an error, it's gonna have a suggestion there to auto fix. I'm just gonna press that auto fix and see what happens. Okay, it seems that we're in version two now. Again, with all the input fields that it's already used, I'm going to go to generate content. And this time it looks like it's loading. Let's see what happens. And remember, we wanna make sure that we can edit the content within the same application instead of having to copy it and put it, let's say in a Google Sheet or in a Google Doc or in the back end of your website while you're editing it. Okay, so this one, I did it a little bit different. We've got the title, the meta description, even the slug, and we actually have the content itself, uh, which is looking pretty good but we've got the references as well here. Let's see if it's actually getting real references to make sure that we're backing up our statement and it isn't. It's making some fake stuff up, which sometimes AI tends to do. Uh, perfect. And what about the generation details? Okay, so it's not completely wrong, but it also can be improved. And I wanna say, um, make sure that the output of the blog is not just uh, in Markdown, but it looks formatted correctly and we can edit it. Okay, now we're in version three with the same input. Let's see what happens. I'm going to generate the content and see if it gets it right this time. It should take a little while. 
and hopefully the output will be something that is nice to see. The H1, H2s and H3s are styled correctly and ideally we can edit the content within the same application as well. Okay, this time it looks a lot better. I've got the title, the meta description, the slug and the article body looks a lot nicer and well formatted and it's even linking to uh, the correct pages a lot better. Cool, references. Okay, perfect. It's nearly there. The one thing it's missing is the fact that it should be editable. So I wonder if I'm just not seeing this correctly. No, nope. let's go full screen, make sure we're not missing anything. No, nope. okay, it looks kind of right. Um, okay, now we just need to add an option in the article body section once the blog is completed that we can edit the article ourselves. Okay, so now we have the SEO metadata, the article content. If we click the edit button, let's see what happens. Incredible, we can edit now this. Let's see, uh, this is uh, da, 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 da. This is an edit and let's save the changes and let's see, this is an edit. Beautiful, it worked. Incredible, so it took us a few tries, but already we have our own custom content copywriter, which I think is, is pretty handy, pretty unreal. Now, remember we're using the AI tech from Google AI, which means we can also access Nano Banana. So I'm gonna try and make this even better live with you. And let's see if we can get it to add a feature image upon request for the blog post. Perfect, now I wanna section at the bottom that after writing the whole content, I can request for it to create a feature image for the blog post that is 16 by nine uh, that uses Nano Banana to generate the image. Okay, so it's doing the writing like we wanted to again. We've got the references. Let's see if it's gonna generate the feature image for us. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go, incredible. So now if we go full screen here so we can see it, we've just made an app, you know, mind you, I had to go back and forth with it a couple of times, but it's writing the way I want. It's linking to the correct sources. Here are the references that it's coming up with. Let's double check one of the references to make sure that it's real. Oh, again, we're gonna have to double check that. Not all of them are right, but some of them are. But it's even creating a image to go along with it, which is unreal. The next step for you, if you want to share this with someone else, you can publish this, you can deploy the application. You do need to set up a project in Google Cloud because it'll be using your API key. So I've got one here already. I'm going to place that in there and it's going to be using my API key, deploy the app. I might leave it in the links below for a little while. Otherwise people will, will reuse all my API credits, which is okay for a little bit. It's just verifying the project and it should give me a link where I can test this app out. Perfect, so I've got the custom content copywriter and here is, it is live, beautiful. So I can probably, let's just see if it's gonna work now uh, whilst it's published and beautiful. You should be able to use it as well. And now kind of the limits for this are very little. You could then get it to create a Facebook post, an Instagram post, a LinkedIn post from this blog post, whatever you want it to do, you could probably get it to send you an email with this to your team. Really the options are kind of endless. So I think we're moving into this world where we can create our own custom application within our company or within our workflow to do exactly what we want it to do. I think it's really quite magical. They're all really getting to this point doesn't have to be with Google AI Studio. You can use things like lovable.dev and Bolt, but the fact that this is completely free to use is unreal. Again, I've got the blog post that it is working. Let's just create the image again. And boom, now we've got a realistic looking image for that, a good blog post. I mean, but I'm really, really impressed. Now, SEO is not just writing about good content. You also have to know on-site SEO, how to make sure your website is functioning correctly, how to get some backlinks and a bunch of other things, which can get overwhelming. But I've done a three hour tutorial that'll get you up to speed into all the things you need to know about how to do SEO in 2025. I'll leave that here for you so you can go watch that. Thanks for watching.